Welcome to the portrait in profile. Here is a quick view. I begin the first painting session by first blocking in the gesture and proportion. I also consider the separation between the dark values and the light values. I'm just using raw umber here in the context of a wet imprimatura, which is a combination of raw umber and a earth red. I use a combination of uh, brushes, including a Q-tip and a skewer, in order to add paint as well as remove paint as a way to translate the essence of her shadow shape, light shape, as well as her gesture and proportions. Next up, I bring in a uh, pretty much direct uh, color value destination for the background as well as uh, for her hair. And this immediately creates a framework for her light shape that is now ready to advance forward also. So next up I go in with the shadow shape of her features. This doesn't have a large degree of volume, it really is a very subtle linear design, but still just as important to create a particular structure of her particular features. Next step, I start to include the larger masses of uh, light as indicator light shape and through that journey I also begin to cool down the complexion where appropriate. There's still a bit of uh, canvas shining through in some of the areas of the features but those will be attended to once I'm ready to refine the drawing in the area of the eye, the nose and the mouth. I first think about the larger planes and how I can convey the most with the least amount of effort. That's a nice way of thinking economically and to quickly gain a translation of the big impression without going into too much labor intensive detail, such as very refined transitions. So there is a balance point between simplifying yet not overly simplifying to the point where I can't see or can't translate the particular structure and the visual manifestation of this structure. Moving forward, uh, still within the first painting day, I now start to refine some of the transitions that exist in her light shape. And while I am thinking about the unity of that light, I also consider the color dimension that exists within her complexion and how some areas are tending a little bit more pink, some are a little bit more orange, and then we also see some green undertones as well as some purple and some blue components. Here we are on the second painting day and I follow very much the same journey as in the first painting day, first addressing the background because that needed to be repainted and to be refined and then I move forward into her uh, hair also with the objective of refining this area and then I move into the area of her light shape to start a process of repainting this zone and I'm not forgetting to bring in in the shadow notes in the anchor points of the portrait as exists in the area of her eye, nose, mouth, chin and ear. Those elements helps to indicate the darkest darks uh, of the portrait. In addition, it helps to maintain the essence of the drawing as it conveys the gesture and proportion uh, of her throughout this uh, painting day. Also, having the darkest darks already anchored in in the area of the features provide a context to paint into and to create a bridge with uh, once I now get into this uh, repainting process in this particular zone as well. So after having addressed the overall big impression and the overall light shape, I now am ready to go into refining the intricacy of the specific features as is uh, provided by her eye and her nose and the mouth. Also the area of the chin is a very uh, delicate area with a lot of variation of uh, color and uh, value. As I move throughout the uh, painting process, I ensure that there are no lingering sharp edges where there ought not to be any. So I uh, paint wet in wet and uh, make sure to fuse some of the transitions as I move along to maintain a nice atmospheric quality in the painting throughout its uh, process. Thank you so much for watching this quick view. I hope that it was a helpful glance of the journey of this uh, portrait painting process.